Sergeant Declan O'Brady is one of John's closest friends. Uh, they serve together and throughout the film, uh, John confides in him and he does what he can uh, to pull strings for John. Just such tremendous guys, both of them. Um, uh, I think we all kind of clicked pretty fast and, uh, and we discussed briefly um, John uh, and Declan's relationship. And then the day of filming, we had another conversation uh, in Guy's trailer um, about the extent of their relationship and, and kind of ways to, uh, to hint on the fact that they may have known each other uh, earlier. So um, it's been a tremendous experience and, and Guy is such an incredible director and Jake is such a phenomenal actor and getting to work with them is just, it's just incredible. There are very, very few directors stylistically um, um, that you can tell apart, and Guy is one of them. Uh, not only is he a household name as a director, but his style uh, is uniquely his. So what does a Guy Ritchie war film look like? That's so exciting, we've never seen that before. And Jake brought that up to me and I was like, we were talking about it and we were also talking about how that can affect one's performance is like, you know, you know when you're watching a Guy Ritchie movie. So what does that look like in this tone? That's what's gonna be super exciting about this film as well, um, is to see Guy's take on something like this. Um, but in addition to that, uh, the attention to detail um, has been immense. I mean, there's not, not one thing uh, that, that they miss um, from my experience that I've been here. Uh, you know, all the guys are always here making sure that we are as authentic as possible and that, you know, I think everybody takes this seriously. The you know, movie's about, you have to, there's no other way to do a, a film like this without doing the best you can. And obviously things can slip through the cracks. It's a, it's a film at the end of the day, but, and everybody knows that, but I think that, um, I think the military will be really proud to see guys take on, on a film like this. Yeah, randomly, Johnny Lee Miller uh, and I like hit it off so quickly. Like he's got, he finished today uh, that we're filming and um, I feel like I've known the guy for, for years. He's such a good dude. Um, we got to ride the, the bus uh, to and from set. So uh, we got to talk a lot in the car and stuff. And again, another tremendous actor. I do think that this film gives a, a new take on the Afghan war. And I think that uh, like the films prior and, and the films that come afterwards, um, they're all necessary to give a, you know, a broader context of what that was like. Um, what, I, what I would say that this film really does though is, is uh, humanize uh, people and characters. And, and that is the perspective that I love to see. Um, you know, in this day and age, uh, empathy is what we all need. I think it's pretty obvious at this point is, is taking a step back and at least, at the very least, trying to understand what it's like to be in somebody else's situation. Um, and Jake's character, uh, John, has to go through his own journey of realization through this brutal experience. Um, he comes home and realizes that the person who allowed that um, to be possible, um, that person's life's still at risk. Um, and he has a moral obligation to go back and get him. I think that the audience are gonna love this film. Um, I loved reading it, I loved making it. Um, I cannot wait to see the final product. Um, like any good film, uh, it's going to be a hell of a roller coaster ride. Um, and like any good film, uh, this film is going to make you think in the end.